Hello everyone, welcome back to my chem corner. So in today's video, we are going to do question number 6, which is balance the following chemical equation. So here there are 5, 4 chemical equations given to us. We need to see how to balance them. Alright, so the first one is HNO3 plus CaOH twice giving Ca NO3 twice plus H2. Alright, so now let's see how to balance this um, equation. So first let's write down what are the number of elements given to us on the left hand side and as well as on the right hand side. So here hydrogen on the left hand side, hydrogen count is 1 and 2 plus 2, so that is 3. Okay, then over here the hydrogen count is going to be only 2. Alright, now in this uh, on this side here you have nitrogen as 1. So nitrogen is going to be 1. On this side nitrogen there are 2. Alright, oxygen there are 3 here plus 2 which makes it 5. So I have 5 here. Here oxygen there are 3 into 2 6 plus 1 7 all right then calcium on the left hand side is 1 calcium on the right hand side is 1 okay so definitely there is a mismatch in the count of the atoms on the left hand side as well as on the right hand side which we need to balance so first we will not bother about calcium since both are balanced. Let's not bother about calcium. Let's look at oxygen. Okay. Now here oxygen, there are 5 here but there's 7 over here. Alright. So to make it 2 more, what can you do? Alright. To make it more, what can you do here? So here you have 3, 2 are 6 plus 1, 7. So there are 7 here. But here what happens? 3 plus 2, 5. It's a very odd number. So instead what can you do? Can you add 2 here? That will become 3 into 2, 6. Plus 2, 8 it will become. So I have 2 into 3 which is 6. 6 plus 2 will become 8 over here. So on the left hand side this count will change from 5 to 8. Can we do this 8 over here? We have 3 twos are 6 plus 1, 7. One more you need to add. So if I change this here to 2, 2 water molecule, that will give 3 twos are 6 plus 2, 8 oxygen. So oxygen on the right hand side is now balanced. Alright, now let's recount hydrogen and nitrogen because we added these two on nitric acid as well as water. So how many hydrogens are here? 2 hydrogens on HNO3 and 2 hydrogens on calcium sulfate which makes it a total of 4. So I have 4 here. I have 2 into 2 which will become 4. So this will change to 4. So hydrogen is also balanced. What about nitrogen? Nitrogen 2 are done over here. There is already 2 nitrogens on the right hand side. So now this equation is balanced because you have equal number of atoms on both sides. On the RHS as well as on the LHS. Alright. So that's how you balance the equation. If you are not someone who can just look at the equation and balance it. You can always write this and balance it. Alright, let's move to the second one which is NaOH plus H2SO4 giving Na2SO4 plus H2O. Alright, very simple acid base uh, reaction here. So let's put down the element count. Sodium is 1. Here sodium 2. Alright. Now uh, let's look at hydrogen. Hydrogen there are 2 plus 1 3. So hydrogen there are 3. On this side hydrogen there are 2. What about oxygen? Oxygen there are 4 on sulfuric acid plus 1 on NaOH which will make it a total of 5. Oxygen over here 4 plus 1 5. Okay. Sulfur 1 and sulfur 1. So if you see sulfur is alone balanced. 
oxygen is balanced sodium and hydrogen is not balanced okay so for that you need to balance it so in that case when you look at say your hydrogen itself okay hydrogen if i'm putting here say two water molecules it will become a total of four hydrogens okay on the right hand side four hydrogens will be there on the left hand side to make it four i'll just put two in front over here so this will become two hydrogens and two which will become four all right so four here and four here now in this case when you count oxygen oxygen count will slightly vary so this is two oxygens and four oxygen on the left hand side totally giving six oxygens on the other hand two oxygen plus four will give six so oxygen is balanced when hydrogen balanced automatically now let's look at sodium sodium right hand side two left hand side after balancing it became two so here both of these are also balanced so the entire equation is now balanced here all right now next one is a third equation all right third one is nacl plus agno3 <coughs> giving agcl plus nano3 very simple all right sodium one here sodium one silver one atom silver also one atom cl one atom cl also one atom nitrogen one atom nitrogen one atom oxygen three atoms oxygen three atoms so here if you see it is already a balanced equation you don't have to go ahead and balance this equation at all okay so sometimes equations will be given like this may not have a number but when you check it it's already a balanced equation all right so there's nothing to panic about it when you look at your exam that uh, okay i'm already getting equal number of uh, atoms on either sides what more to balance no, some place sometimes you get questions like these where the equation does not have a number uh, i mean the coefficients before the uh, compounds which means it is a self-balanced equation all right so that's an already balanced equation next one bacl2 plus h2so4 giving baso4 plus hcl all right so let's put the count ba1 atom ba1 atom cl will have two atoms the cl has only one atom hydrogen there are two atoms there is hydrogen here only one atom sulfur one atom sulfur again one atom oxygen four atoms and oxygen four atoms where is the discrepancy seen only in hydrogen and chlorine because hydrogen on left hand side two atoms chlorine on left hand side two atoms whereas the same thing on the right hand side only one one so what i'll do is i'll just put two over here now when i see hydrogen will have two chlorine also will have two so this will balance the entire equation you don't have to touch any other part of the equation at all all right so this way you can easily balance the equations if you are someone who just started learning how to balance an equation or is confused i would suggest put down whatever elements are there on the left hand side and on the right hand side then look at how to balance it but if you are someone who is already very good in balancing you can just look at the equation and do it either way both methods you should find it easier so as you keep practicing you will know how to balance these equations right 